Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Rage Toy Samurai Force Autumn. And I was a big fan of the spring figure that they put out last year, so I'm really looking forward to this guy. I've already done a review of the Rage Toys Samurai Force Master figure. That's on my channel now, so be sure to check that out. Huge thank you to 5K Toys for sending these figures out to me to review. I really do appreciate it. Today, we're also going to be taking a look at the Samurai Force Supplementary Parts Kit. So that's awesome. It comes with a bunch of stuff for the different figures. But yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with the packaging for Autumn. Looking at the front of the box, we have some really cool graphic like artwork of the figure. He does look dope right there. Nothing going on in the side of the box. On the top, it does say Samurai Force. On the back, we get a little bit of information about the world. And that's about it for the packaging. It is very small, but it is collector friendly. So I do like these boxes quite a bit. But enough about the pretty box. Let's go ahead and get this guy out and take a look. Okay, so here we have Autumn right out of the box. And I did go ahead and throw on some of his accessories because... He has all these little attachments that you could put on him that really add a lot to the whole situation here. But man, I think this is a really great looking figure. The sculpting work is really well done. The details are incredible. Articulation is pretty nice too. But man, the look, the design, the details, the sculpt, all of that is awesome. And I think they did an amazing job of keeping the look consistent between him and Spring. When you put them together, they look really nice. And it's, you know, the look is very consistent between them two. They obviously look like they're part of the same line. I was kind of concerned that there'd be, like, too many changes because, like, you know, the, the releases of these figures were so far apart from each other. So I was hoping, like, things didn't change for some reason. But thankfully, that's not the case. They definitely look amazing together. And I was surprised to see that, like, there's not, a, there's not any reuse between these two figures. Like, I don't think they share any parts. So that was awesome to see. But, man... These guys are looking amazing so far. I can't wait until we get Mikey and Raph. And, you know, I like that that Autumn is taller than Spring. I'm okay with Spring being this short, but I'm a little concerned because when the Mikey figure eventually comes out, like, I always think that Mikey was the shortest of the crew, and I don't want him to be much shorter than Spring in this case. I don't know. So hopefully, like, when he comes out, he's basically the same size as Spring, and maybe they find a different way to make him seem a little different. And, uh, you know, hopefully Raph is, like, big and chunky and just, like, the buff bruiser of the crew. And then with Donnie, I mean, uh, Autumn being the tallest. So, uh, yeah, I, like, a lot of people were mad at how small Spring was, but I think, I think it's going to work out fine. I'm just concerned with how Michelangelo is going to kind of factor into the whole size issue <laughs> if he's the same size as spring i'm cool with it even if he's just a hair smaller that's that's okay but i don't know i don't know if i want him to be like taller you know but anyways they look amazing together and yeah we have a, a little bit of soft goods here on autumn he has like a soft goods scarf and then a little bit right here and that's about it the alternate head has some soft goods as well but yeah not a whole lot Everything is pretty much sculpted. I love what they did back here. They killed it. And the little attachments are really cool, especially this thing here. You you want to be careful with the satellite. I actually almost broke mine. Thankfully, I was able to, you know, just glue it together before it caused any huge problems. But you definitely want to be careful with that. It's a little fragile. But yeah, I think this is a really great looking figure. And Rage Toys is off to a really good start with the turtles here. The sculpting work, the details, and the designs are really what makes these Rage Toys Turtle figures special. They've been doing a great job so far, and I think they killed it with Autumn. I love the way that they incorporated some more like technologically advanced elements into the design because that's very much in line with Donatello, you know, as a character. But taking a close look, starting off at the head, this head sculpt looks really, really dope. Check out the details in there. We've got some like different shades of green on the skin. Got some nice looking golden eyes. I like the gold right there on the forehead, the purple mask. That all looks so dope. Then he does have that hood. He has a soft goods scarf around the neck, which is removable. But man, this head sculpt looks really good. Then moving on to the body, you can see the front of the shell has some nice paintwork. He does have this belt strap thing that is, you know, sculpted down there, or it's part of the sculpt. And then check out the texture on the skin and then all the different shades of green and stuff. He does have purple wraps over here. Oh, look at that, man. They even painted the metal part of the belt buckle there. Or not buckle, but, you know, whatever that thing is called. They painted it, so that's nice. And I love the way that they incorporate the 
different turtles colors into their designs in such a natural way you know in addition to just the masks like they'll have the purple mask or the colored masks and then they add like you know things like this like the arm wraps and then for the belt he does have like this soft goods knot in the front and the rest is sculpted onto the figure and then check this out right here on his wrist i don't know what this is but it's part of that like you know, technologically advanced stuff that we like to see on Donatello. Looks like there's some type of, like, digital screen with some buttons. Maybe this is his, like, anti-gravity contraption. He, uh, you know, streamlined it a little bit. It used to be a big old gauntlet. Now it's just, like, a bracelet. I don't know, maybe. And then check out all the cool stuff that we have back here. Like, all this machinery and tubes and wires and just random, like, <laughs> pieces of... Uh, like gadgets and stuff, you know, it's so cool and check out the pouches. All of this is so well sculpted. Look at all that and Then he does have a place to hold the bow staff which just kind of fits right in to all this chaos back here So that is nice and then check this out, man. I love this arm He's got like this articulated arm on the back that just plugs into a hole right there There's like a little port, but look at this man. This is so cool and then check out the details on it There's some great sculpting work. It's articulated <laughs> yeah, man, this is so awesome. I love that arm. And then he does have this satellite. And the satellite is very cool, but it's fragile, so be very careful. I actually kind of broke mine, and I had to glue it together. As you could see there, the paint isn't quite as clean because, you know, I got it all messy trying to glue it. I may repaint it. I may not. When I'm just looking at it, I can't even really tell the difference. Zoomed in with the camera here, you could definitely see, but just with your uh, naked eye, it's not really an issue. So I don't know if I'll paint it, whatever. But this is very cool. I just wish it was a little bit more sturdy. And just like the arm, it plugs into the port, or to a port in the back. Oh, and then he does have these uh, grenades on his thigh. It's like, this is like a separate piece, so you can remove it if you'd like. But it's pretty, it's pretty cool, because even though it's removable, it stays right in place doesn't really move around or anything and then he does have these grenades and these are removable as well so yeah very cool and then for the rest of the legs here as you can see he does have these knee pads and some more purple wraps around the ankle and the foot so that's cool but man look look how much they put into all this right here like this looks really good there's all kinds of like metal rivets and different textures and materials and stuff it looks so good but yeah they really do some incredible work with the uh, sculpting and the design and the paint and they're just really cool reimagined versions of the turtles and i love all of the you know character elements that they incorporate into the looks they've been killing it man but yeah autumn is a beautiful looking figure with some amazing sculpting and paint work in addition to the accessories that we've already looked at, Autumn does come with a bunch of other really cool stuff, including multiple sets of hands. So first off, we have a pair of hands that could be used as fists, and these could also be used as gripping hands to hold on to his bow staff. So they are shaped like fists, but they have holes in the center, so they can be used both ways. And then he does have a set of wide open hands, he has a set of loose gripping hands, and then finally, he has a gun gripping hand but only for the right side this can be used to hold on to the musket that he comes with it is hard to get the gun in there because the fingers are attached to each other it is possible as you can see but it does take some work to kind of wiggle it in there so i do wish that they hadn't attached the fingers but at least once you get the gun in there it is a nice tight grip and then he does come with two different head sculpts the first one we've already looked at but this is awesome it's like that hooded look with the mask and everything that's really dope the alternate head sculpt feels like a more traditional Donatello head sculpt because it does have these awesome looking goggles. I love that they included that. I wish they would have included a head that didn't have any goggles or maybe like a separate set of goggles so that we could like move, an, move them up and down on his head and actually have him wearing them. That would have been cool. But as it is right now, I really like that they included this head sculpt. The, the goggles and everything works perfectly for all the high tech stuff that he has on his shell. And then he does come with the musket. And I think this is really cool. I love the idea of a Donatello inspired character having a weapon that's a little bit more advanced than his brothers you know all of them have swords and size and nunchucks and stuff like that but Donnie is coming through with an actual gun so um, I think that's dope and I like the way they did it here it does come with a clip that you could attach to the backpack area and it actually holds on to the musket there and the musket looks nice too it's very well sculpted it's got some really great looking paintwork some nice gold and silver on there so yeah they did a great job with this 
And then, of course, he does come with his iconic bow staff, which I have in here. As you can see, it is able to be stored in his backpack. And I think the best way to take this out is to twist it. That seems to always be the case with uh, Donatello's um, bow staff, you know? Like, in order to get it in and out of the holster area, the best thing to do is to kind of twist it out. But, yeah. So, the bow staff looks really good. I like how they made it a little bit more advanced than we're typically used to seeing on bow staffs, you know? Like, it's got a little... Um, you know like these metal tips so that's nice and then it does have like a blade that you can attach to it he doesn't have any problem holding it whatsoever you could stick it right into those gripping hands and you're good to go so they did a great job with the bow staff and i really like that musket it is kind of hard to get him to hold the musket he comes with that one gripping hand for it uh, but like i mentioned before it is a little tight but he's definitely able to hold on to it. Um, I think they did a good job with both of these. I love that they could be stored on the figure and they look really good. Another cool thing that I almost forgot to mention is that this arm coming out from like uh, Donnie's backpack area, I mean Autumn's backpack area, can actually hold on to the weapons. As you can see, it's holding on to the gun. <laughs> so that is really dope. You could even get like the claws of the arm into like the trigger guard. <laughs> just imagine Donnie coming up holding his bow staff and then his arm just swings forward with the gun <laughs> Man, that's so cool. I don't know if it's like supposed to do that, but it does work out So I like that quite a bit and then taking a quick look at the supplementary parts kit As you can see we get some additional accessories starting off with a couple of extra heads for autumn The first one is a head that has a helmet on it and it kind of matches one of the heads that came with spring The second head sculpt is autumn with a big old smile on his face And as you can see this one has the goggles and then we do get another head for spring And this one here is like an angry head sculpt that looks really nice And then we also get an extra hand for spring and this hand is used to hold on to the ninja star that come in this set so we get three of those and then finally the coolest thing from this set are these four baby turtles so these are awesome you could definitely use these for photography and things like that and some of these actually have a little bit of articulation so um, I love the baby turtles and it's nice to get some extra head sculpts so if you want to get more accessories in addition to the stuff that the figures already come with you always have the option to pick this up and it's cool that you don't have to pick it up but if you want some more accessories you know this is there for you to grab so I think that's pretty dope Okay, so now for some size comparisons here. We have autumn alongside the rage toys or fury toys I don't remember exactly what <laughs> what it was called when it came out But we're just gonna call it rage toys going forward So here we have autumn alongside the rage toys spring and the rage toys master and man They look so good together. I can't wait to get the whole crew We've started to see more pictures of summer you know, the character that's inspired by Michelangelo. He looks amazing. I can't wait to see Winter. It's going to be awesome to have all of them together. So far, they're killing it. I love the way they look. And then next up, we have Autumn alongside the NECA Return to New York Michelangelo and the Figure Arts Donatello. Next up, we have him alongside the NECA Mirage Comics Casey Jones and a knockoff NECA Mirage Comics Leonardo. <laughs> and man, he, he really makes the uh rage toys figure look tiny huh i mean they are kind of on the small side but uh yeah <laughs> seeing them next to this makes them look really small and then next up we have them alongside the NECA mirage comics master splinter and the mezco 112 collective leonardo and then here we have them alongside the NECA mikey the wanderer and the NECA last ronin Raphael. and then here we have them alongside a NECA animated series foot soldier and the NECA animated series shredder and i would love to see rage toys do a shredder figure i'd be really interested in seeing what their take would be on this character especially considering like the cool stuff they've done on the turtles and on the master so far like you know they take all kinds of elements from these characters and kind of incorporate it into their own design and i i would just love to see like what they'd come up with for shredder i think they would do some incredible stuff and then here we have them alongside the Jada Toy Street Fighter Dalsim and the Jada Toy Street Fighter M. Bison. And then here we have them alongside the Mezco Lone Roach Gomez and the Mezco Ronin Logan. And like I said in my master review, I think that uh, these turtles and this whole Rage Toys universe looks really good with these types of characters, you know. And then for the final size comparison, of course, we have Autumn alongside the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap and Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spider-Man.
And the articulation on Autumn is exactly the same as the articulation on Spring. So if you have that figure, you know exactly what to expect out of this guy. And you know, I'll say that the articulation on these guys is pretty good. You could definitely have some fun with them, put them into cool poses, all that kind of good stuff. But there are some limitations and there's definitely some points of articulation that they've left out that I wish they had included. Uh, but you know, for the most part, I think they are pretty fun to play with and... I'm pretty satisfied with the articulation, like I didn't have to modify any of mine. I was good with them, but I could definitely see that there are some things missing, so, you know. But let's go ahead and take a look, starting off at the head. So the head can move side to side, it's on a little ball peg joint, so it moves side to side. We get a little bit of tilting action, but not a whole lot. It does sit kind of low, so, you know, can't really get too much tilting out of it. He could look up to about right there, which, you know, that's not too bad. Then it could look down to about right there. So decent movement at the head. I do wish that he was able to tilt a little bit more though. And then for the torso, he does have a like a diaphragm cut in there. So you can kind of twist on the diaphragm cut, but you can't, you know, you can't spin it all the way around. You probably could if you warmed it up or something, but right out of the box, that's pretty much the amount that you're the amount of twisting that you're gonna get out of it. And then it does kind of lean side to side, which is nice. And then you know, it goes forward and back to about right there. I never expect too much movement out of, you know, the torsos on turtle figures. So I'm pretty happy with this. And then for the arms, they are able to go all the way around. They could come up to the side to about right there. So that's not too bad. He does not have an upper bicep swivel. He has a single jointed elbow that bends to right there and that's where you're going to get your swivel so you can swivel right there and yeah the bend only goes to about 90 and then it does have like a ball peg at the hand so you can rotate on there and you could kind of shift it around and do different things with it so that's nice and then for the legs that's where we have some limitations so he's able to kick his leg forward to about right there could bring them back to about right there they could only go out to the side to about right there so not a whole lot of sidekick action i mean that's still okay though it's not bad and he doesn't have like an upper thigh swivel at all and i'm okay with that but if you're gonna do that you definitely have to make sure that you're gonna have enough movement in here and i would say that on these guys there's almost enough movement i wish it could just move a little bit more but, you know, you get some pretty decent, like, rotation on the ball joint there. So, I could live with it. I just wish that it was able to turn inward just a little bit more. Just a little bit. But I think, uh, you know, for the most part, this does work well enough. I do wish there was some type of swivel, maybe, like, at the foot or something. Because we don't get that either. I think you either need to have, like, a lower leg swivel or an upper thigh swivel along with this type of movement. But, you know, like I said, it doesn't it doesn't really bug me enough to, like, want to modify it or change it. You know, I still have enough fun with it, but I could definitely say that it would have benefited from a little more going on right here. And then he does have double jointed knees that get a really good bend. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty nice. And then he has rocking ankles. His foot goes forward to there and then comes up to right there. One thing I forgot to show is that the arms are able to, even though he doesn't have like upper bicep swivel or, you know, butterfly joints or anything like that, you could still get his arms in front of him a pretty decent amount for like punching poses and things like that. Ooh, look at that. That works. Yeah, so, you know, the arms get decent movement. But yeah, man, when it comes to Ninja Turtles, I never really expect a crazy amount of articulation. I feel like the designs just don't allow it. Some companies have done a pretty good job with it, like Mezco, Figure Arts, Revil Tech. Uh, but for the most part, Ninja Turtle figures are usually pretty limited. And, you know, I'm okay with that. I could definitely live with it. As long as the figures are fun to play with and you could get them into some cool poses, then I think we're good to go. And that's definitely the case on these guys. Um, there's enough going on here to enjoy handling the figures, but there are some things they left out. For the most part, I am satisfied with it. Alrighty, so 
Overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles, and it's all said and done, I think this is a really dope figure. It's going to look awesome next to Spring and the Master. Can't wait for the other two brothers. The main thing I love about this guy and all the other ones is the designs. I really love the way that Rage Toys reimagines like classic turtle elements and puts them into these new designs. Like I keep saying, they feel fresh and original, but very faithful to the turtles at the same time. So that's really dope. As far as the figure goes, the details are amazing the paintwork is awesome the figure looks incredible articulation on this guy is okay I do wish there was a little bit more going on but ultimately I have a lot of fun playing around with this figure and I think that what's there is good enough but I really think they could have done a little better with the articulation and it seems like with the next figure they're releasing the Michelangelo inspired character they're gonna put a little bit more articulation so I look forward to seeing how that all works out but as it is the articulation on this guy could be better but it's still enough to enjoy the accessories are a lot of fun too i love all the little gadgets that you could put on him the extra arm the satellite i love the musket that he comes with of course he comes with the classic donnie boat staff the different hands the extra heads all that stuff is really cool and i really like the supplementary pack that you could pick up it's always nice to have the option to get more accessories if you want them and it comes with some cool stuff i love the alternate heads and you know it's always cool to get those little baby turtles those things are awesome so that's a cool option but as far as autumn himself he does come with a bunch of really dope accessories one gripe i do have is that the satellite thing that he comes with that you're able to plug into his back is very fragile in fact i almost broke mine i half snapped it i was able to get some glue into there and it's holding together perfectly fine now but it sucks that that happened i wish that they used some type of material that wasn't so fragile but aside from that one thing i really don't have any issues with this figure i think he came out awesome it's gonna look great next to his family and it's just a really dope figure with a really cool design and some amazing detail and sculpting work so yeah i'm very happy with it huge thank you to 5k toys for sending this out to me to take a look at i do appreciate it i will leave some links to this figure in the description below so be sure to check that out and with that i think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff also be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that i go live thank you very much peace